bilingual but they gave me two speakers so I'm only speaking in one language <laughs> okay I needed to just let you know that whatever you see in the museum is a work still in progress okay the place looks very different from a week ago and as an example we know of at least two errors in either a caption or a graphic and if you spot one you know who Joe Yasutaka is you go talk to Joe and he's going to give you a certificate for 20% off in the store, okay? It's sort of like a uh, Where's Waldo, okay? If you can find the error, you win a prize, 20% off in the store. So that's just an example of our humbleness, that this is still a work in progress, and we know we have a lot more work to do with the agricultural exhibit, which is right now not a part of today's celebration, but it's a big part of uh, what we do because we feel really good about the agricultural exhibit. The uh, Model T truck that you saw out there near the front was a donation from Eichi Sakawa, one of our founding members. And thanks to a collaborative effort with History San Jose, we were able to do some preservation of not only the truck, but the um, pear sorter that he invented. So we're doing a lot of collaboration with other museums to help us get going. The second floor is our community room, and we are planning exhibits and other special kinds of things up there, too. So t for today, it's basically the downstairs, okay? Um, we're not charging any admission for you fee for this particular weekend. However, donations are more than welcome. You see the uh, semi-historic house next door. We call that the Kawakami House, and it was a purchase that we made in terms of our expansion. We moved it, made room for a parking lot so that we can get a permit that had some spaces for parking. And our next phase now with fund development is to refurbish that house and have more meeting, prep room, and even a period living room at, at the front of that house. Um, from Thursday on next week, we are now going to be charging a slight admission. We just need some revenue for operations. We've been free all this time. So it will be a $5 general fee for um, 
uh, a general public, and then $3 for students and seniors, and children under 12 would be admitted free. If you're a member, you can come as many times as you want free. So that's one of our membership perks, and I encourage you to sign up if you haven't done that. For this opening, another very creative aspect of some group think with our board, you see three wires, and just so no one gets punctured by them, they're supposed to be barbed wires representing the, the wires around the 10 War Relocation Authority camps. Each one represents the three generations incarcerated in camp. So my grandmother, Obacha, my parents, mom and dad, and I were all at Poston. So this is Ise, Nise, Sanse, representing the three generations, okay? And the tags you see represent the 10 camps. So it's very symbolic. That's another aspect of our culture. There's a lot of symbolism, okay? And if you don't know what it is, just make it up. <laughs> okay, um, this wire will open the door for us to be able to tell the Japanese American stories. So we have Wire Cutter and Jimmy, and we have representatives that will be part of representing our team. Pam Yoshida is with um, MBA Architects, and she is the project director. We meet every week. And Pam has done a, a lot of other uh, volunteer-type efforts with our museum, too. But this beautiful building, thanks to the efforts of Pam, isn't he a talented architect? <laughs> and the construction company, Evan Yoshino, out of Ceres, California. Okay. And he, too, is a project director or manager for Applegate Johnson. Okay. And then we have Mayor Reed, thank you for your presence today. And, and then Jimmy and I will represent the museum. So Jimmy, you have the honors with the cheers. Oh, Council General Onomata, come join us. Okay, for the Issei's, cut. Two, and three, let's hear it for the wire cutting. Okay. So that does it as far as opening our doors now and come and visit us many times over. You probably have stories or artifacts that you can share with us too. So we'll continue to work with you to enhance what we have as an offering here at the museum. Thank you very much for your attention and participation. And um, if you have tickets, the two o'clock people would be first admitted through these doors. Okay, thank you so much.